My name is Lisa Hart Shepherd, and I'm the CEO of Acritas. Today I have with me Jerry Peck, who's the Global Head of Disputes at Norton Rose Fulbright. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So you recently launched the 12th Annual Survey of Litigation Trends. What are the main findings you're seeing this year? Well, uh, we continue to see uh, disruption in the marketplaces that have resulted in enhanced litigation and enhanced regulation. And that's been a trend that we've seen over a number of years. And the cost of that litigation continues to increase. And there's a greater burden with discovery, e-discovery, uh, other types of discovery. Uh, much of that has traditionally fallen in the U.S., but uh, it's expanding and we're seeing greater costs and companies having to deal with those discovery issues and the privacy laws and looking at how to uh, control those costs. And are you seeing differences given, given the scale of the study by region or by industry? We are. We are seeing differences. Uh, the United States has traditionally been about 40 percent of the disputes uh, worldwide, but uh, the other uh, regions are catching up. Mm -hmm. uh, you're seeing uh, in the U.S. historically uh, big class action cases, and those now have become more prominent in Canada and in Australia and even in Europe. Mm -hmm. And I imagine the low oil price is affecting the energy industries, those related to that. You know, whenever you have disruptions in the marketplace, whether it's oil uh, prices that are low, which they are, or other commodity prices, mineral prices, those disruptions tend to lead to um, uh, more litigation. Litigation mm -hmm. tends to do well when there are disruptions in the marketplace and, there, and that results in additional disputes and that's been historically the case. We're seeing a lot of it, quite, uh, mm -hmm. quite a lot of it right now. So given we've got this backdrop of increasing litigation, increasing spend, I can see why legal departments want to take more control. So tell us about this litigation minimization minimization framework that you've developed? So what we did is we went to, uh, we went to the different uh, uh, parties that we surveyed, these counsel around the world, and we asked them uh, what kind of measures were they taking mm -hmm. to uh, prevent the litigation or mitigate litigation, mitigate the disputes that they are uh, encountering or the regulatory risks that they have. And we then uh, put together the preventive measures that they have um, they have, first of all, how did, how did you map the, the problems and the risks that you have? What preventive measures did you place in, 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 put in place? And then uh, how did you do address those issues and how did it work out for you? And uh, we gathered all that information together. We put it together holistically and now we've got it as part of our frameworks for uh, other companies to have access to and to, to see if that can help them in thinking about how to mitigate the risk and how to get a hand, uh, an arm around it. Fantastic. And we've seen in our Acritas Sharp Legal Survey, um, we ask about objectives that people fail to meet. And having extraordinary events like major disputes tends to lead to them not hitting budget, surprisingly enough. Um, so do you think this could have an impact on them getting more control of their spend? I, I do. I think that companies, uh, many uh, companies are going to do many of the things that are on this framework. Mm -hmm. They're already going to have done them. But this can help them think about where are the gaps? Mm -hmm. Where are things that they can improve? What can they do differently? And uh, if you have a better understanding of what your risks are and you take steps to mitigate that risk uh, through contractual provisions, through um, training, uh, through understanding your compliance programs, uh, then uh, you're going to lessen uh, the risk of, of litigation and, le and, and lessen the uh, occurrence of those um, budget exploding events from occurring, mm -hmm. that, that piece of litigation arising that uh, disrupts your budget and your, and, your, and your overall spend for the year. Mm -hmm. So how can legal departments get hold of it? Well, the, there's a website. It's uh, www.litigationtrends.com and, mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, framework is available there and I, I hope uh, everyone accesses it. Okay, well it's a great initiative and thanks for taking the time to tell us about it today. Well, thank you very much.